everybody. Welcome back to Enjoyable and Sustainable Prayer, value number five, okay? I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, hearing Krista yesterday talking about cultivating a prophetic spirit on musicians. That's value number four. Today we're going to talk about value number five, which is intentional singing and team ministry in prayer. So this, um, uh, this area of enjoyable prayer is found specifically in the idea of corporate worship and corporate prayer together. How can we go farther together? How can we enjoy prayer together? And how can we, how can it be sustainable? God said, you know, it says, Paul says prayer without ceasing. How do we do that? Well, the first way to actually find out what antiphonal singing is, okay? Antiphonal singing is to answer responsibly in turns, alternating with one another. So it's it's kind of like a Bible study when someone talks, someone else talks. It's that conversation, dialogue, responding to one another. Um, we see this in the Bible in Revelation chapter 5. And, Reve- and uh, the best way I can describe this would be like a Wi-Fi symbol um, that you see every day. And so it's kind of like what happens with uh, with uh, antiphonal singing, a biblical example of responsive singing. So, um, God is on his throne, um, in Revelation chapter 5, Jesus takes the scroll, and there's a response, Jesus is that center dot in the Wi-Fi symbol, okay? But then there's a response from the 24 elders and the four living creatures. They sing, word that you are worthy to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain and have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue and people and nation. And have made us kings and priests to our God, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay, That's the first level of response. But that response produces another response in others. Specifically, the many, many angels around the throne, living creatures. And it, there's 10,000 times 10,000, which is 100 million. Okay, And they sing another song. They sing, Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. So you have that second tier of response that you see in the Wi-Fi symbol. Lastly, you see all of creation. It says every creature, which is which is in heaven and on the earth, singing blessing and honor and glory and power. Be to him who sits on the throne forever and ever. And then not, not only that, but the four living creatures and the 24 elders end this, this refrain of worship and responsive singing with amen, and they bow down before the Lord and worship him. <coughs> So to look at all this, we can see that responsive singing is valuable and it is important uh, according to God's uh, understanding of it in the scriptures. <clears throat> and this should be a guide and a resource for us to go deeper into the place of corporate prayer. Let's respond to one another. Let's take each other's resources when we sing the Bible or, or pray the Bible and use that as a form of dialogue and the place of prayer to go deeper together. So the place that, one thing is, where do you start? How do you do this? How do you organize it? Uh, One thing I would say is just pick a passage of scripture. Uh, Some go-to passages that you can pick are antiphonal, uh, sorry, not antiphonal, apostolic prayers, hymns of revelation, theophanies, which theophanies are just fancier words for just revelations of Jesus in the forms of um, uh, just encounters. Um, The book of Psalms, the Gospels, Song of Solomon, and prayers of the Old Testament, uh, of the prophets. <clears throat> These are great places to start and say, okay, I want to focus on this passage. And you may be the group of people, and you may what you want to do is just sing a specific, um, a specific part of that passage and have, if you have a group of people who want to sing or uh, people who want to pray, have the singers. Just go down the line, have one person sing short phrases. Uh, have, if you, say you have three singers, have the singer one sing a short phrase, sing or two, sing another phrase, and then sing or three, sing a third phrase. Do that a couple of times and then designate somebody, kind of like your prayer, your Bible study facilitator, but through singing, to summarize everything that was being said through a chorus. And so um, that way you begin to learn the word of God together, not just by yourself and not just through talking, but through singing. And St. Augustine says singing is praying twice. So those are um, some definite uh, ways to grow in that. So, um, And there's many scriptures related to antiphonal singing, not only Revelation 5, you have Ezra 3, chapter 11, Colossians 3, 16, Ephesians 5, 19, Nehemiah 12, verse 24, and the rest of Nehemiah 12 is filled 
with examples of of, of that uh, illustration. So, one thing I'll just uh, I encourage you to do this week is just get a group of people, get some friends, and just just huddle around together. It could be in your home, it could be at church in a small side room, and if someone plays an instrument, have them play a chord progression. Have someone sing the introduce, introduc, introducing, introducing the passage, and then have people sing or pray very short phrases around that passage. And at the end of that, have somebody designated to lead a chorus to summarize everything that was being said. Why is this important? We get to grow together, and in the end, this is what team ministry looks like. It's not some superstar worship leader. It's not some fancy preacher. It's the body of Christ loving one another well. So I just encourage you to do this, and and, uh, I hope this blesses you, and I look forward to seeing you next week.